programs and look what I found. 2016 Machamp tin. Right there. Also got the Septile. Has it Septile? Yeah. Septile right there. We got a Breakpoint and Fates Collide pack with the Kangas Khan pin collect pin collector pin or collector spin and a couple of celestial storms. Pretty expensive, four forty nine. Eleven ninety nine for the two packs in the pin. That's about the same. Well, it's, I think it's like thirteen bucks and then the tin is actually not bad. What is going on fellow nerds? B Mina here again with yet another epic Nerdy Nations collectible video. Today guys, what we're gonna be sharing and opening together is a two year old Machamp tin collectors, yeah, collectors tin. That's what I meant to say. So, as you can see, we got the Machamp illustration right here. It's also textured, as well as everything else, like the Pokemon TCG up here above. And then it comes with this really cool Machamp holographic promo card. Now, as most of you would know, Majority of the times, these tins come with EXs, promo EXs, sometimes they're not even promos, um, and GXs, but most of the time they come with EX cards. So you can tell that this is an older tin just because this is a regular holo promo card instead of an ultra rare. So let's take a quick glance of the bottom of the tin. You got all the energies right there. You got the three Pokemon that are featured in this particular set, which is Machamp, Gengar, and Gyarados. And at the top it says Pokemon Trading Card Game. And on the other side, it also has the featured Pokemon. Moving to the back, it gives you a brief description about this particular set. Shows you what's inside and what's included. We got one of three special foil Pokemon cards, Machamp, Gyarados, and Gengar. Obviously we have the Machamp one. And it comes with three Pokemon TCG, yeah, TCG booster packs. So, mind you, this particular set, tin, that's what I meant to say again, this particular collector's tin is a Walgreens exclusive. Therefore, you cannot find this set, this tin, I don't even know why I keep saying set, but this tin anywhere else but Walgreens. And I just want to share one more thing that it was from 2016. It is now the year 2018 at this recording. So that was two years ago. So with that said, guys, we are going to break into this and see what packs were inserted in this collector's tin two years ago. So without further ado, let us begin the process. All right, so I'm gonna open up this shrink wrap here. And as I imagine, even though I used a scissor, I'm still struggling. Right. There we go. The shrink wrap has been removed. Now we are going to open it. Oh, there's the bottom of the lid, as well as more detailed look at the top of the lid and the graphic. All right, I'm gonna set that there to the rear. And there is The Machamp card. Right. And looks like we got a Fates Collide pack. Alright. Another Fates Collide pack. And a breakthrough. That was not what I expected. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh man. <laughs> so I did not expect those particular sets to be in this collector's tin because from the previous videos, wow, this card is pretty warped. So from what I've seen from other videos on these Walgreen tins is that some of them contain black, wh white and black, or black and white legendary um, legendary packs. I think they're legendary collection packs, I'm not sure. But they're the older packs with black and white and then they came with a base set XY as well as a Furious Fist. That's Those are the three packs that I would see in these particular tins. However, who knows, these might have been a later, you know, production run. So, nonetheless, we got some really nice XY packs here. We got Breakpoint. We get the full art Mega Caesar in here. Um, some other cool EXs as well in this particular set. And the Fates Collide, the possibility of getting this awesome Mega Alakazam Full Art EX and Secret Rare Alakazam Full Art. And so much other, so much other, so many more cool cards that can come out of these sets. So, it's all right, got my handy dandy sleeves ready just in case we get any epic pulls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save breakpoint for last and then we're going to start off with Mega Alakazam. Then we're going to make our way to Zygarde and then Mega Caesar. Sounds good? By the way, I hope you guys like my background. Decided to showcase my vintage sealed collection. We got the fossil packs right there. We got the jungle pack with Scyther kind of hiding in the back. We got the Blastoise, the Charizard base set, sealed pack, the Misty theme deck that you guys seen before, and of course, last but not least, the signed Natu How Do You Do by the legendary Poketuber, Leonhart. And then up there in the corner, we got that Pikachu theme deck from X and Y. Not necessarily vintage, but still a cool theme deck. All right, so without further ado, let's go crack into this Fates Collide pack with Mega Alakazam. I think I'm gonna actually use the scissors for this because I kinda wanna save this pack. Because I know this is gonna get ripped up. All right. Let's just take that down a little bit. So can give, 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 give me the code card. All right, so first code card for you guys right there. Get it while it's hot. Make sure you share. I don't have to keep on reminding. Be good people and don't be greedy. One, two, and three. I don't think there is a guesting energy game, so we'll just go from here. All right, so we're starting off with a trainer and supporter. Okay. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read the description of the card. Next, we got a Halucha. Doing a somersault. Then we got a Dome Fossil Kabuto. Cool. Next, we got a Gothita. Beam. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused. That's actually pretty good. 60 HP. Next, we got the Meowth. Up to no good as usual. We got a Snivy. Then we got a Solosis. With a little, what was that, shoulder in the background. Then we got a Finnegan running along and playing with that Chikorita. Then went for the reverse hollow, we got the Alakazam Spirit Link. And for the rare, we have a Deancey EX. 
Beautiful card. Look at that, guys. B U T F O. Let's check out the back. The centering looks really good, so let's go ahead and sleeve this baby up. Sleeved and protected. We'll set that to the back. While we're at it, we may as well go and sleeve up this Machamp promo card. Of course, I drop. I would drop it. You know, it would just slide. But it's okay. On to the next, we have a Fates Collide. Again, with Zygarde. Let's see what we will get in this pack. Now, I just want to say that I paid approximately $15, $14.99 to be exact, for this particular tin, which is, in my opinion, about average. Three packs inside. No extra code card or anything like some tins do have or include. Um, but code card, you know, it's it's pretty average. Can't complain. We already pulled an EX. All right, so second pack we're starting off with a Dugong. Dugong, gong, gong. gong. Then we got a Loudred, looking very, very goofy and obnoxious, hence the name. Then we have another Alakazam Spirit Link. This time it's on regular, not a reverse hollow. Then we have a Katsuni, a Burmy, a Larvitar, another Meow. A Fennekin, a Reverse Hollow Common Mancino, and a Barbarical Non Hollow Rare. All right. Nothing in that pack, to be honest. However, let us keep things in order. Moving on to the final pack. Let's see if we can get some LPM. For those of you that don't know what LPM is, it is an acronym for Last Pack Magic. You heard that right, guys. Last Pack Magic. Let us chant it. Last Pack Magic. All right, LPM. That's what it is. Don't wear it out. So, for this particular set, I am hoping to pull you know, pretty much anything at this point. A Caesar, Mega Caesar, whatever it may be. Anything would be awesome. There's a last code card. And mind you, in these XY packs, they still have those break cards. So, any break card would be pretty awesome to pull as well. All right, starting off with a Swana. Then we, have, then we have a Tierno. Next we have a Cloyster. And then we have the basic of this Swana, which is the Ducklet. Next we got the Googly-Eyed Esper. Next, we got the Phantom. We have Trubbish. This card is really good. I'm gonna probably add this to my competitive deck. Then we have a Time Pole. And the reverse is a Shinx. And the final rare for this opening is a Hypno Non Hollow Rare. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and take a look at our pulls for this video. Just gonna do a quick recap. And everything is just gonna fall over. Oh, I caught the Machamp this time. So starting off, we got the Hypno, non-hollow rare. 
the Barbarical Non-Hollow Rare, the Mancino Common Reverse Hollow, the Alakazam Spirit Link Reverse Hollow Uncommon, the Shinx Reverse Hollow Common, and then we got the Deancey EX Ultra Rare, beautiful card again. And then of course, last but not least, the Machamp Holographic Promo Card. Well actually, I don't think it is a promo card. It's an actual rare holographic from this set, which I do not recognize. Go ahead and feel free to leave a comment stating which set this little icon is from. Alrighty guys, that pretty much concludes this video. Um, I just also want to say thank you everybody for watching my videos. Everyone that's liked them, disliked them, all of the above, all of the bottom, whatever, all of the below, I mean. <laughs> um, if you guys like this content that I put out, I made a Patreons account. So I would really appreciate whatever you guys can donate to the cause to continue to give you guys all of the nerdy content that I can give you on this channel, the NNC, so that we can continue to move forward and just have fun. Have fun opening Pokemon cards, you know, sharing vlogs, doing pack battles, Elite Trainer battles, everything that you've seen posted on the Nerdy Nation Collectibles channel. And, you know, every little bit helps. So I will leave a link in the description to the Patreons again. Thank you guys for your support. And if you wanna go ahead and check out my Instagram, follow me there. For those of you that collect code cards for the Pokemon TCG online, just follow me on my Instagram, DM me, and I will send you guys code cards just like that. It's super easy. And you can also stay connected. I will also do be doing more live stream openings on there as well, as well as here. And I will definitely keep you guys informed and up to date for when those live streams are coming. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Till then, stay nerdy, stay weird, and may the pools be with you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!